This video introduces the info panel, which displays real-time measurement data whilst work is done in the field. The video also shows you how to configure its appearance in order to display relevant measurement values. So the measure application is likely to be used for carrying out a basic topographical survey or an as-built survey. Whilst measuring points and creating lines and arcs, Measurement data, for example the coordinates of the current position or the point ID, should be easily visible. Accordingly, the information panel or info panel displays the relevant data. The first page shows point ID, point coordinates and the point code. The second page displays information specific to using an icon robot, that is the station orientation and the distance between the station and the measured point. It also displays point ID and point code. Scroll from the first page to the next page by tapping. The content of the info panel is configurable. Define exactly what the info panel shows and also how it distributes it using the info panel configuration screen. Access this by tapping and holding in the info panel. Here on the left you can see what is already configured. Two pages are currently populated but up to six can be used in total. Edit the content of the selected page by tapping within the page contents and selecting the label from the list. In this example I shall configure a third page. It is possible to distribute one value per box, but it is also possible to put the same value in more than one box, which then enlarges the text size. So select Eastings for the top row and Northings for the second row. Third row can be left blank. Accept. In the info panel, page 1 and 2 configurations remain, but the values on page 3 are much larger because of the way they've been configured. Comparing the size of the text from page 3 to page 1, there's a difference in clarity. This would be useful when you need to focus on specific values while working. For a further example, configure a fourth page. This time, point ID in the left column, all three rows, and code on the right. For a fifth page, put height in all six boxes. Back in the map screen, these dots here indicate that there are now five pages. The first three pages are as previously configured. For page 4, the two values are separated into columns rather than rows. For the fifth page, this is the best configuration to use if you're focusing on one specific value. It's very visible. So configuring the info panel is very simple and the configuration is application specific. Your configuration for stakeout, for example, will be independent to your configuration for volumes. This info panel configuration screen is available in icon site and icon build plus.